Okay, hi guys. Today we're gonna we're going to be talking about Polarasan again, but on the topic of um, ABS. Okay, so let's see. Um, so, menunjukkan aset bukan semasa, machine. Okay, so we have two machine here um, that is bought on two different dates. Okay, so we just labeled as machine A and machine B. Okay, so susut nilai is 20% baki berkurangan. And then, 31st of December, we sold our machine. Okay, and tahun kewangan is 31st of December. Okay, so, they said, um, menyediakan account account pada uh, 2015. So, we don't have to menyusahkan diri sendiri lah, okay? We don't have to do for 2014 and the past few years, okay? Just one year is enough. Okay, so before I proceed with doing the accounts, what I'm going to do is to calculate the susut nilai first. Okay. Okay, so the calculation of susut nilai. So we make two two columns, one for A, one for B. Okay, so for machine A, Let's see, uh, we bought it on the 1st of January 2014. Okay, so we count until the the date where they do the tahun kewangan, right? I hear tempo per count, not yes. Okay, so we count from the 1st of January to the 31st of December of 2014. Okay, so the susu nilai is... 50,000 times 20%, okay? We don't have anything to minus because um, it's newly bought. We don't have any susu nilai terkumpul. So we don't have to minus, lor. Okay, so... Yeah, it's 10,000. Okay, so this is for the year of 2014. So now we're going to count for the year of... 2015 Okay, 31st of December Okay, so now we have our susut nilai already, right? So this is our susut nilai terkumpul for the year of uh, 2015 So We have to minus it first Because baki berkurangan, right? Okay Minus Then times with 20% the answer is 8,000. Okay, so the total susu nilai for our um, machine A, susu nilai terkumpu for all the years is 10,000 plus 8,000, we get 18,000. Okay, so this is for machine A. For machine B, Okay, so just run through it again lah. Okay, machine B, we bought it on July, the 1st of July. And then we count to December. Okay. So what we should do is we take the cost. Okay, um... Yep, okay, cost 60,000. Okay, so we get the cost, which is 60,000, and we multiply it with the percentage, which is 20%. So how many months is this? This is not one whole year. Okay, so it's a count. Lah. Okay, July, August, September, October, November, December. Six months. Okay, six over 12. So we get 6,000. So that's it for our calculation of susut nilai. Let's proceed to the first account. Okay, account machine. Okay, first one, right? Okay, account machine. Okay, whenever I start, I always ask myself whether do I have Bucky HB, I mean Bucky BB or not. Okay, so we have a kendaraan that is brought down from the year of um, 2014, 
right? It's 50,000. Because we bought it back in 2014. So this year, the year where we're doing the we're doing accounting is 2015. So we have to write whatever that is brought down from the last year. So it's 50,000 of what? Bucky BB. 2015. First of January. Okay. So why is it debit side? Because um yeah. System Chatatan Burgu. Debit is always asset dan belanja. Credit is always liability dan hasil. Okay, so uh, machine is our ABS, right? It, it belongs to asset, so it should go to the debit side. Okay, so what happens next? Um, July. On the 1st of July, we bought a new machine, right? How much? 60,000. So just put it at the same side because um, the value is adding up, right? So you put it at the same side. Okay, the question is what do we write as our buteran? Okay, so usually when they tell you uh, you bought a new machine, you bought a new ABS with a uh, surcharge check, then you write bang. If surcharge tunai, then you just write tunai. Okay, in this case, it says Sachara Credit Dari Nazura Design. So, for the Butiran, we just write lah. Na, Naura. Naura Design. Okay, so... This is it. Okay, what happens next is... Okay, this one done. First one is done. Second one, it says... Um, machine yang dibeli pada... Uh, 2014 means our machine A lah. Okay, our machine A telah dijual dengan harga 31500. Okay, <clears throat> so the question is while writing um, the pelupusan in our account machine, do we take 31500 or do we take 50,000? Okay, answer is we take 50,000. Okay, because we always take the harga asal instead of the Hugger that we're selling, okay. Principal costs, yeah, it's from from four. Okay, so we just, so we sold machine A, right? So fifty thousand, and then the date we sold it is the thirty first of December, okay. Belu, just write belupusan machine. Okay, then. That's it, huh? Okay. <clears throat> if we don't have anything more to add, okay, then we draw the Garisan Jumla. Always take the larger, the uh, the side with, yeah, the larger side. Add it up. Then minus. Yeah, then minus the other side. Okay, so this is um HB. So we have HB, we must have BB. So just write it at the opposite side. 2016, 1st of January. Okay, so that's, that's it for our account machine. Moving on, we have we have our account susu ingai terkumpul. Okay, so first question you always ask yourself is, do you have Bucky BB? Let's see, yeah. Let's see if we whether we have a susunilai that is brought down from 20, 2014. Okay, so okay, so ten thousand is our susunilai for machine A, right? For the year of two thousand fourteen. So this number, this figure becomes our baki um 
BB for um, accounts to suit United Combo. Okay, why not eight thousand? Why don't we add eight thousand into the sum? Why don't we add six thousand into the sum as well? Okay, because um, whatever we have calculated for this part and this part is for the year of two thousand fifteen. But now we're looking for what happened. Yeah, whatever has happened last year. So we just take ten thousand as our bucky um BB. Okay, then the next question is, why should I, okay, which side should I put it at? Okay, because you see, uh, accounts to suit United Kumpu, I don't think it belongs to asset. It don't, it doesn't belong to Belanja. It's not liability and it's also not a hassle. So where does it belong? Okay, so a little re re revision for you guys. Um, you guys remember account Indo? And account contra. Okay, uh yeah, this is from form four. Okay, so in this situation it's ABS, account ABS is our account indo, and account contra is our uh Susunite Kumpu. Account Susunite Kumpu. It's like yeah. Um because Susunite Kumpu so so in the gumbo, um always minus the nilai of the asset. Okay? And it's same same goes to um account volume terima. We have PHR as the con contra, yes. Then we also have Jualan and Bulangan Jualan Belian and Bulangan Belian. So the list goes on lah, okay? But yeah. So where should we put it? Okay, so it's the account contra for ABS, right? ABS is always at the debit side. So it's the contra, so it should be at the opposite side lah. Okay, so we just write Bucky HB at the credit side, okay. 10,000. Okay, so the next thing we should do is to check um, how much uh, Susut Nilai have, um, do we have for the, for the year of 2015, okay? So the new Susut Nilai, we all add, we add everything up. Okay. The new Susu Nilai is 8,000 and 6,000. So Susu Nilai machine is 14,000 lah because we add this one and this one. So this is 14,000. Okay, so next after, um, yeah, after all this, oh, whoops. Yeah, 14,000. Okay, so after we record our Susu Nilai, um, we have to deal with our Pelupusan machine. Okay. So Pelupusan machine is... Okay, we're going to Lupus our machine A. So we have to find out how much Susu Nilai Tegumpu does our machine A have. Okay, so we add up like, all these years. Um, 2014 and 2015. So add up everything, we have 18,000 of Susut Nilai Takumpu. So, okay, December 31st, because it's the date that we lupus the machine, okay? So we just write, Pelupusan machine, 18,000, because it's the total Susut Nilai Takumpu, okay? So yeah, just add it up. And yeah. Okay, so I don't think there's anything uh, left to do. So again, we just draw our Garisan Jumla. Yeah. Okay, we just draw our Garisan Jumla. Okay, add up the part that has the larger figure. Then, 
minus this part. So we have our Baki HP, 6,000. Okay, have Baki HP must have Baki BB. So transfer it down, then it's Baki BB, 6,000. Okay, so that's it for our account susut nyai tergumpu. Next, we have our account pelupusan machine. Okay, when it comes to account pelupusan, um, First, we don't have Bucky HP and also we don't have Bucky BB. Why? Because it's like a couple of busan is like a one time thing, okay? Because you're going to sell the machine, right? You're going to sell the ABS. Um, after you sell it, you just close the account and you, uh, yeah, we just don't care about it, okay? So we don't have Bucky HP, don't have Bucky BB. Um, yeah. And it's the easiest part, lah, okay, in my opinion, because what we have to do is to search for all the previous accounts and we have to find the words that says Balupusan Machine. Okay, let's see. Yeah. We have the first one. Balupusan Machine, uh, 50,000. So this is credit side, right? So it should be on the debit side when it comes to this part. So 50,000. The date, we always write the date where it's uh, being uh, lupus lah. Because, yeah, one date only. Okay, so what do we write as, as the butiran? So we got it from account machine. So just write machine lah. <clears throat> okay, then next we, we have one here in account SNT. <clears throat> So, yeah, this is debit side, then it should be at the credit side. 18,000. Okay, then the Butiran, we just copy back the name of the account. Susut nilai tekumpu machine. Okay, so next, let's look at the butir, the maklumat tambahan again. Okay. So it says, um, the jual dengan harga 31500. Okay. In this scenario, they didn't state whether it's the jual dengan secara check or secara tunai. So, um, normally we just assume it's uh, secara check lah if they didn't state. So we just write bang and then 31500. Okay, like I said, we don't have Bucky HB and Bucky BB, right? So <clears throat> when it comes to when it comes to pelupusan, um, we should find the difference and label it as untung atau rugi pelupusan. Okay, let's see. I think debit side is um has a larger figure. So just draw a garrison jumla. Fifty thousand. Okay, so it's five hundred. <clears throat> okay, so if the difference is at the debit side, it's untung atas pelupusan. When it's at the credit side, though, it's a uh, rugi. Okay, so we just write rugi atas. Pelupusan machine. Okay, then that's all. Yeah, that's it. Uh, we're done with this question. Um, so in conclusion, I don't think it's um really really hard to go through the whole process, but but the most confusing thing is um the calculation of our susut nilai. Why? Okay, because if you accidentally counted something wrong, then the whole thing, yeah, the whole account will be wrong because it's all connected, right? Imagine if you wrote um, seven months instead of six months, then this figure will be wrong and your accounts will all be wrong because the numbers are connected. So yeah, that's it.